Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to the PWR Steer video series. Today we are working on a 2015 Honda Odyssey. It has a leaking power steering pump. We will explain step by step how to replace the pump, the reservoir and the fluid. But before we get started, let's have a look in the box. Before we open the box, one very important point, our products are installation ready. When you open the box, you'll see that the pump is in packaged in foam to make sure it doesn't get damaged during shipping. We also include all the seals and clamps to get the job done with detailed instructions. The pump will come in a bag because it's been tested, it's full of fluids. We use port plugs to make sure it doesn't leak all over the box. And the pulley is already installed, making it installation ready. In this installation, we will start with removing the belt. But first, be sure to locate the belt diagram or take a picture of the belt routing to use as a reference when you reinstall the belt. Also, look over the belt for cracks and make sure it is in good condition. Replace if needed. On this Honda Odyssey, you will have to compress the belt tensioner to remove the belt. Most tensioners will accept a 3 8 inch drive ratchet or a breaker bar, but on this vehicle, we will be using a wrench. Once the belt is removed, we need to remove as much fluid as possible from the reservoir. This will reduce the amount of spillage when the hoses are disconnected. We are not flushing the system on this vehicle because it has very low mileage and we are replacing the leaking pump. Disconnect the hose to the reservoir. Remove the reservoir and push the hose out of the way. Now remove the upper pressure hose. Next, you will want to remove the IAC motor. Removing this will allow for easier access to the pump. Unplug the IAC connector. Then, use a 5mm Allen wrench to remove the two bolts holding the IAC motor. Once removed, set the motor aside. Now, let's remove the pump. Use a 12mm socket to remove the three bolts holding the pump. Then, remove the pump. Now that we have removed the leaking pump, it's time to put the new PWR pump in its place. But the first thing we need to do is compare the old pump to the new PWR pump. As in this example from a different PWR installation video, we show a Honda pump comparison where we made sure the ports were the same and the pulley was the same. In most cases, PWR pumps will come with the pulley already installed, and you'll find that most PWR pulleys are metal and not plastic. So after completing our comparison of the old pump to the new PWR pump, we are ready to install the new pump in the reverse order it was removed. And remember to always tighten bolts to the recommended torque specifications. Once the pump is installed, reinstall the IAC motor. Next, we will reattach the pressure hose. But first, here's a very important step. Make sure you replace the old O-ring with the new O-ring that was supplied with the new pump. Once the pressure hose is secured, we can reattach the belt. Now it's time to replace the reservoir with a new one and reconnect the hoses. The final step is to add the proper amount of OEM recommended fluid type into the reservoir. Without starting the engine, move the wheels lock to lock 10 times. This will help remove the air from the system before starting the vehicle. Why do we do this? Because removing the air before starting the engine will ensure that you do not damage the internal parts of the new pump. Now that we have done this, we will need to top off the reservoir with additional fluid. 
Now start the engine. And again, turn the wheels lock to lock 10 times. Check the reservoir one more time. Then check the system for leaks. Here's a technical service bulletin for all 2005 to 2007 Honda Odysseys. The power steering pump on some vehicles might whine, buzz, or hum after driving about 30 minutes in temperatures of 35 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If this occurs, the power steering reservoir is defective. To correct this, flush the entire power steering system with clean OE Honda or equivalent steering fluid and then install a new reservoir. Let's do a quick recap. Check belts for cracks or oil contamination. Check hoses for leaks or wear and consider replacing them if they are five years old or older. Inspect the power steering system and suspension. Compare the new product to the old product. Always install a new remote reservoir if applicable. Every part should be installed to factory torque specs. Flush the system with recommended fluid type. Vacuum bleed the system every time a line is opened. Be sure to watch our other video on flushing and vacuum bleeding a power steering system. Thanks for watching this video. And please don't forget to watch all the other PWR Steer videos. And remember, our products are 100% new, 100% tested, engineered in Memphis, Tennessee.